Hi guys, it's Carol. How are you? I am pretty good. I have slept all day. Uh, it rained last night and I have asthma and when the air is heavy and wet, it's hard for me to breathe. And so I was up a lot last night having an asthma attack. So I literally slept all day except I woke up at lunch, fed the dogs, ate lunch, went back to sleep. So now I feel really good. <laughs> I wanted to show you uh, Toby's new collar. Molly and Toby got collars and tags for their birthday. He's got his harness on because we're about to go. Casey wanted to go get fried rice for dinner. Oh, well, you can't see it very well. Shoot. He has a pretty tag. Oh, he has a bone-shaped tag that's blue and says Toby. Come here, Molly. No. She hates this tripod. I don't know why. She looks so cute. She's got a pale pink collar with rhinestones on it and a and a, a rhinestone name tag. Um, why I wanted to do a video is one of my other subs, <clears throat> excuse me, told me that she read the wedding dress sewing circle with me. I just, I haven't actually finished it. I'm almost right at the end. Uh, and she said she just hated to see it end. That's how I am. This is a really good book. It's, um, people fall in love in it, but it's not like a romance, uh, like we typically read. It's just a good story. Good story. Um, it takes place during World War II. And, uh, oh, there's the sweetest story about a wedding dress. I, I don't want to ruin it for anybody. But, you know, it's during World War II, they can't get white silk fabric because anything like that is used for parachutes. So they can't make wedding dresses. So um, the sewing circle decides they will have... Uh, they will get other people's wedding dresses and redo them so that they can share them with other brides. It started because this one lady had her mother's wedding dress, but it had been uh, in a box forever and a day and moths had eaten holes all in it. And so she took it to the sewing circle to see if they could help her salvage some of the fabric to make a wedding dress. And then she said she would share this dress with anybody else who wanted to wear it. Casey just walked in. Um, now, the other book about a wedding dress was Carolyn's Brown, Carolyn Brown's The Perfect Dress. This was a good story. I don't know if I'm just an old prude or what. <sighs> There were people in this book that couldn't say a sentence without a cuss word in it. I just don't like that. I don't talk that way. Uh, my kids, when they're with me, don't talk that way. They, who knows what they do when they're not with me. Some of them do. You just can't hear them. <laughs> you know, hearing loss is a blessing sometimes. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this was a good story. I enjoyed reading it, except for that. And it's... She gets a little more descriptive on romance stuff than I care for, but not a whole lot. Um, but I just didn't like it. It was a grandma, especially, that just about couldn't say a sentence without having a cuss word in it. And that doesn't appeal to me. But otherwise, it's still. Carolyn Brown is a good author. I think she just adds stuff in that she thinks the world wants and I'm not sure that the world does but anyway um tonight is Sheldon the last Sheldon get your box of Kleenex out uh Casey's gonna watch it with me uh we're gonna go get fried rice and eat I don't know what we're gonna feed the dogs um and then by the time we go get fried rice get home it'll uh, be getting close time for Sheldon. So that's what I'm going to do tonight is watch the last two episodes of Sheldon. It's a one hour uh, thing. I'm going to miss 
that show. I really like it. <laughs> and I was just, you know, we I knew George dies. I knew, you know, for the whole time. We knew in Shield, in Big Bang Theory, that his dad died when he was 12. I knew he was going to die. I was just crushed. <laughs> I cried. <laughs> Casey, it was sad. I'm <laughs> sure it was very sad. I probably would have cried too. That morning when George left, it was like nobody was paying attention to him. He asked Missy if she wanted to ride to school with him. She says, no, I'll take the bus. Mary says, four o'clock. We're having our family picture at four o'clock. Not, I love you. Bye. Have a good day. <laughs> Sheldon says something in passing. Nobody, you know, give me, gives him a bye hug or <laughs> anything. It's just... Come back at four o'clock for our pictures. <laughs> and then he was gone. It, it's just like death in real life. That's that's how it happens. But anyway. Okay. Hey, Molly, come here. Come here, baby. Can I show him your collar? Yes, come here. Come here to Mama. Casey's going to get Molly. <laughs> Let's show them your pretty birthday collar. Uh, yes. Well, she's got so much hair here. Anyway, there's a pink collar under there <laughs> with a pretty pink tag that says Molly on it. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Whoops. Well, anyway, you get the idea. All right. That's it for today. That's all I know, which is I know nothing. <laughs> I wanted to check in with you guys. I'll talk to you later. Hope you have a good evening. Bye.